I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. We just finished this piano up just yesterday. It's a uh, 1979 48-inch Kawai, which uh, if, you, if you've watched any of my other videos, you probably know that I'm a big fan of pianos at 48 inches and above. That's what I've told people for many, many years, that that's where a real, a real upright begins. The engineering just works out that way. The, uh, um, and Kawai, I've probably worked on um, maybe more Kawais than, than any brand, maybe Hailun, but yeah, they're probably in the running for the, for the two that I've worked on the most. Um, they're, they're a great piano. I've, I've respected Kawai for many years. They, they just build a great piano. Um, 1979, we've, we've, uh, we've totally refurbished it, which, which is pretty typical. Any, any piano will, will endure for about 20 to 25 years of prime service, after which it needs to be refurbished, which we've done. And the intention, and, and when done properly, which we have, um, is to make it function and uh, touch, tone, and endure like, like a brand new piano. So we've been through this very thoroughly. We have a very, very, um, well, thorough checklist that, uh, that my wife used to tell me is too yeah, thorough. Yeah, high bar. Yeah, very high bar. But, uh, but um, rather than relent and say, okay, you're right. We need to, I've actually added to it since she made that comment. Probably added to it a couple times. So um, why, don't we, why don't we have a look at that? We'll talk about what we've done piano so of course cleaning is the first thing these pianos are just absolutely filthy on the inside take the keys out take the action out take everything out clean clean everything out take the whole piano outside blow it out vacuum and wipe everything down with with cleaner um, same with the action blow the action out these hammers are reshaped you can see they they don't have the um, the deep cuts that, uh, that hammers get from hitting the strings. Everything's been, been aligned and lubricated and regulated. So that regulation is, is something that uh, pianos are, um, it's built in. There's built in adjustability because pianos really can only last a few years. I mean, 20 years at, probably at the most of having proper regulation. So it's, it's uh, baked into the design that they can be they can be adjusted. Actually, you can have a look at this action right here. You can, since we're happen to be right here, you can see what I'm talking about. So, a little piano action. This is what technicians train on. There's adjustability here and here and there. There's adjustability um, in the in the the dampers in under under the key there in the. Uh, it's called the blow distance, which is this distance that the hammers are to the strings. The dip, which is the distance even to press the key, the key height. And that key is um, that's what, how you adjust that. The pedals. Anyway, lots, lots of uh, different areas of adjustability. Okay, let's hear it.
nice tone. It's almost, um, it's almost kind of, uh, it's, it's fairly bright. It's definitely not overly bright, but um, even kind of uh, has, has a bright yet sort of, sort of delicate tone, I would say. like I can feels like I can manipulate it um, very easily get it to do what I want it to do come check it out we've got uh, and if you want to see this piano or like uh, lots and lots of dozens of others I, you can you can schedule an appointment with me online on the website um, and I can show you these pianos in person or you can just stop by the address here is 1497 South State Street in Orem <laughs>